Hey, welcome back to the book of Exodus. We are at Exodus chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. We're in the fifth plague now. And what happens next? Let's read the two verses. So the Lord did this thing on the next day, and all the livestock of Egypt died. But of the livestock of the sons of Israel, not one died. Pharaoh sent, and behold, there was not even one of the livestock of Israel dead. But the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. So Pharaoh does not repent or relent in the time between the announcement of this plague and it's being carried out. Boom, the switch is thrown. Here comes the plague. And, of course, there's all this carnage around all these dead animals. This is a mighty reduction in one blow, a mighty reduction of the wealth of Egypt. I think it's pretty interesting how Pharaoh actually sends out a group of observers. He especially sends them to the land of Goshen, where the Hebrews are, to find out what happened there. Is it possible this affected, you know, the whole land? Was this kind of a natural thing, a fluke thing? Or did it come out just as, just as Moses said it would? And indeed, the report comes back, there are no dead animals in the land of Goshen. The Hebrews are doing just fine. Meanwhile, uh, great carnage has happened to the cattle in Egypt. Although he doesn't want to believe it, the facts are just what Moses said they would be. Facts are very stubborn things. A lot of times, instead of accepting facts about something, you and I will instead we'll want to bend it, we'll want to reframe it, we want to think about it in a different way than it truly is. Uh, we want to re, uh, retell the story in a different way so that we're kind of, we think we're fooling ourselves or other people, we're kind of changing the facts. Facts, we are not up for fact changing, you know, and Pharaoh doesn't like the facts as they stare him in the face. It's exactly the way Moses said it would be. So often, people, corporations, believers in God, don't like the facts the way they are, the way things are said to be. They don't like that. Then we try to reshape perception to kind of build out our own version of the facts. And we wind up portraying reality differently than reality portrays itself. Now, this always leads to trouble. I mean, this is universal. This never, never turns out differently. God wants us to deal with facts that are facts, and he wants us to see deception for what it is, deception. If we're sincerely seeking truth, if we love the truth, then we can have the truth. But if we refuse to accommodate ourselves to reality, we will be also allowed to have our fake realities. God isn't going to force us to think right. That's your choice and my choice. And if we don't love the truth, we will surely receive the lie. And right here, we don't know all that was in Pharaoh's head, but we know that so far he's unrelenting. And Egypt is suffering pretty severely at this point. Tomorrow morning, we'll see what happens next.